thing. All right, good evening, everybody. So let's just jump into the next slide. I think, yeah, thanks, uh, Marco, for introducing. And then uh, you, you guys can just, uh, this is my Twitter handler. If you need to reach me after this uh, session, just go ahead and tweet me inside that, All right? And then um, I'm obligated also to uh, introduce my teams and Kaushik, senior R&D. Uh, software engineer. He's been working on the uh, uh, or the lead engineer also for the uh, Python SDK plugin for OpenTab. And then we have uh, three brilliant uh, students from uh, University of uh, California, San Cruz, uh, I uh, Ivan, Alex, and Ashton. So let's jump into the agenda. So what we are going to look into today is uh, we're going to look uh, briefly. Uh, the I believe uh, Brandon and uh, Jeff has already gone through the um, the uh, this the uh, introduction about OpenTab and also the architecture, but we're going to go through briefly, so set up the stage um, before we go into the uh, tutorial itself, all right? And then we're going to look into uh, how the um, the three students engage into the open tab and which program they are through via the, uh, v, uh, the we call it as a CSSPP, which is called the Corporate Sponsor uh, Senior Project Program. And then last, we're going to deep dive into the uh, tutorial aspect. Uh, so what is OpenTab? So briefly, OpenTab is a project for open test, uh, open source test automation, test sequencer, right? And uh, the main aim is actually to build a, a test sequencer, which is a scalable, using a scalable architecture, um, based off our three uh, core ideals, which is uh, simplicity, scalability, and speed. This is goes uh, from your development phase until the production. So time, as, as mentioned by Brandon, uh, time to market is very important. So this is where the... Um, the core of it, the open tab itself, um, based off these uh, three ideal cores. And then uh, open tab is actually built on top of a C plus a C sharp, all right? And it's, um, it's, a, it's a proven language. So on top of that, we have right now a Python SDK plugin, uh, which helps a lot of people, especially um, those uh, great, uh, fresh students, right? They have, uh, most of them has the, uh, the first, their first, the first language is definitely be a Python. That's what been taught in university. So um, we are in a good uh, start also. And um, the open tab are being used right now in hundreds of products and application world, all right? And also the foundation of open tab is fast simple automation solution. Uh, as I mentioned, it's now from the uh, start to finish on the DVT till the many thing. So next we're gonna look into the, uh, the architecture of it. All right, this is uh, basically how I would, uh, just let me give you a pointer, that'd be better. All right, so let's know, we can see there is another open tab itself sits in the center, the engine sits in the center, and then the rest of the components are actually plugins, like plug and play, right? So uh, the open tab can exist by itself, but then when we need a DUT, a device under test, we can, uh, we can create a new one, all right? We can create your, your own device, uh, and then um, plug it to the open using the um, the class. Either you ex uh, extend the class or use this, all right? And then we also have a tester plugin, which is uh, a tester is like, a, as mentioned by Brandon, it's a kind of function. For example, let's imagine like you want to do a benchmark for your own PC, right? Let's just, this is a simple example that, uh, to give you an idea of it, all right? If you bunk to your PC, you have to look into a few components, right? You need to look at CPU performance, you need to know your RAM read, write, uh, speed, and so on, and then also storage. So test up, you can look into like one test up doing a CPU uh, testing, another one is doing uh, like a, a RAM. So all those comes into a group where we say this is a computer performance test, right? And the, the overall is called test plan, but the, the small individual part is the steps, right? And then we also have the instrument plugin. You can create your own plugins. This is not uh, tied to the open tab. It's a plugin, right? It's a plugin. So you have in the future there can be a lot of plugins comes, like you know, a lot of new instruments. So in order to grow, in order to be uh, flexible, the instrument plugin you can uh, leverage the uh, interface or the uh, base class of instrument, and then create your own instruments on top of it. All right. And then we also have result listener. Right now, Keysight or the uh, the open tab has a uh, open source the uh, CSV uh, result listener where you can take the results from the uh, test plan and then create your uh, and then output it into a CSV file. And then we also have a test log result listener and a DB storage is one of them. is a Postgres DB. All right, you can create your own uh, result listeners by using maybe a NoSQL, a MongoDB for example, or a time series database. Um, uh, sky is limit your your own 
ideas, whatever, how you want to do is depend on the project itself, all right? And then we have the uh, user interface component as well. Uh, right now, OpenTabs comes with the uh, CLI, the, uh, uh, the uh, CLI mode uh, UI interface, where, and also we have Kisa has its own uh, editor, which is a, a UI based. Um, that one is based on the uh, uh, community edition, but you are not bound to just use these two. You can create your own um, user interface. Uh, maybe you can create like a based of a web base, right? So sky's limit, imagination is the best part, right? And then, um, we're going to look into how OpenTab has been used across right now. So what you can see, there's a four pictures here. This is just a sample, all right? But there are a lot of use cases. The one that on the top right, uh, top left is actually a web UI automation. And then this one is the Wi-Fi 6 Plus um, um, positioner testing. And then this is a cybersecurity penetration test. And the last is the um, uh, robot arm in manufacturing. So all these kind of uh, different range of fields of testing, right? OpenTab can be used. So this uh, is a real like a strength of the open tab. It can be in a, in a lot of more fields and stuff, all right? It's not just a niche, uh, it just sits on the certain niche uh, field, all right? So there's a power of the open uh, open tab. And then um, right now, let's go into the, um, the the reason why we have this uh, student engagement in our, uh, on the open tab itself. So right now, Keysai has been partnered with the um, University of California, San Cruz, uh, to create a course in the university itself by being used to, 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 spread, uh, to spread across other universities uh, to introduce uh, test, med, uh, test trans automation. So this course um, will be using the open so the open source uh, PS Lab board itself, where we have these oscilloscopes all on, in, in the board uh, of the PS Lab. So um, that's uh, to actually uh, teach the uh, new students about the test measurement and the test automation. And then the reason why we do it is actually um, when we have actually encountered, when companies are looking to a new hire, right, new grants, one of the hardest aspects is finding the candidates uh, that can apply the uh, academic knowledge uh, theories that they have learned for the past uh, four plus years uh, in the real world or the, or the the real industry applications, right? So, and then uh, many experts are in a specific knowledge silos, but few have the uh, real depth knowledge and that can able to extend to other uh, expertise or other areas. Um, in addition that, um, what we have encountered is um, uh, the field of test and management are not actually given a, a kind of like a, a important or interest like how other technology ecosystems um, are, are there. But the thing is, test and measurement should come together with other inventions, right? Because it, we cannot do invention and never do the testing. So how are we going to be um, use it properly or how are we going to test the reliability, the reliability of it, right? So all of these are very important. And uh, what we key side see is actually a few key benefits of being uh, in the test and doing the test and management is we effectively able to collaborate with the other other team, all right? And we normally never work uh, in a silo or individual, and we can able to extend our knowledge um, from our core responsibilities, all right? And as day by day, as day by day, you know, approaching, right? Hardware and software, the uh, gap. Is becoming lesser and lesser. So eventually, once you know you want to do something in hardware, you need to also do programming. So the open tab uh, able to provide this for the students, and together with Keysight, we are building the course for the uh, the students so they can have this knowledge. All right. So this is to uh, break the, um, um, the 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 normal sentiments that right now they have under the uh, test and uh, uh, measurement field. So right now, let's jump into the uh, tutorial. I'll be sharing you guys the. Um, um, the screen, let me just uh... mm -hmm. Oop, right now we have uh, got a base of underling of open tab and remember try to remember again um, the architecture of we are able to go through it. We're gonna today build um uh, instrument based off, um, we're going to try to connect to uh, open, uh, use the uh, in, uh, PS lab and then uh, make an, a class, specific class that able to control the oscilloscope in the uh, PS lab IO um, and then uh, try to make a measurement from that and then look at the result and uh, look at our result listeners. So how are we going to build all those steps? And uh, 
the three engineers, there's three uh, new students, uh, brilliant students uh, from uh, University of California will be able to guide, you, guide us through right now. And then uh, please feel free to ask questions uh, and also jot down questions, right? We are there to entertain. Share the new video. Can everybody see this? Oops. Can everybody see? Uh, yeah, can you see? Yep, yep, All right. Okay.
default and it should come set up the settings on the right with the test plan in the middle. So you look to the left uh, going over test steps. Uh, we have uh, multiple test steps we can use uh, to test our hardware. And under PS Lab, uh, what Alex talked about, we have our generate sine wave, we have our RMS voltage. Then if we move, uh, we have our test plan. When we add these, uh, they will generate and be available here uh, in our test plan. And our test step settings is used to modify parameters we want to pass through those test steps. Our log panel um, is to view what is happening during the execution. And uh, you will see uh, information being printed here after you run the program. Now let's see how to create a test plan. The PS Lab sine wave generator states a spec of 100 to 5000 Hertz. We're going to be using the test steps that Alex built to test this specification. Okay. So first we're going to add some instruments. Do that by clicking on add new, the plus sign, and then we're going to add our waveform generator and our oscilloscope. Close, click on OK. Then we're going to go to the left side on test steps and add our generate sine wave the RMS voltage and we're going to go to flow control and add the parameter range. And move the parameter range just by clicking and dragging it to the top Then I'm going to make the sine wave and the RMS voltage children of that. So I'm clicking on both of them you just waiting to the sweep range is highlighted and just dropping it inside. You see this is completed on the left side of this diagram. This shows that these two steps are children of sweep range. To get rid of this little red icon and go to the left where it says frequency, click on the three bars, parameterize on parent. We're going to click on sweep range. And now we're basically going to edit the output of our graph and what we want it to start and stop at uh, during our test up. And start at 100 and then stop at 10,000. Now let's run the test plan and see what results we get. We can do this by clicking on the green arrow. When our test is completed, we can make our way up to Tools, Results Viewer, And from here, you see our x-axis as frequency, our y as voltage, and around 5,000 hertz, you see it start to drop. So you can see we have successfully tested the spec of the board. From looking at this results here, you can also do many things with changing the x and y axis, the chart type, so the histogram. So now we successfully know how to create a test step and run it. We saw how to use OpenTap to create a Python plugin on our PS Lab board, and we saw how to install and set up the community edition.
Okay, so just a quick question. Anybody else still playing the video, the tutorial? Uh, watching and listening, yes. Uh, got got left behind uh, fairly early. <laughs> All right. Okay. Then, I mean, it's, um, it's not. Sorry, that's not a critique yeah, of the. Yeah. That's not a critique of the tutorial. It's just that to do it realistically needs the ability to pause, and it's uh, not viable during a live session. So that's fine. Uh, you can you can watch it again. Um, because it's a record, recorded version as well. Um, so okay, I think I just continue first. All right. Um, okay. Currently, right now, um, I, I hope the uh, old uh, development cycle. Sorry, the uh, light is switched off. Back to dark mode. So, um, so what I can say is, um, I hope that the, the tutorial have given you a glimpse of the development uh, cycle, how to develop, and the overall architecture, how the uh, uh, the way the uh, OpenTap engine uh, reacts with or how can be tied together. We can able to, how does it, like actually it's all, as I mentioned, it's not uh, in, within the core, it's not tied together well. So it's like you can plug and play. So when it, uh, based on your project requirement, like how we uh, just did just now, all right? We can have uh, multiple plugins and then when that particular uh, use case came in, we can just, you know, um, Put the instrument in or the DUT in, and we can use uh, our test steps. We can create multiple different test steps and then uh, create a new test plan out of it. And then um, it is all works um, well, but it's not tight uh, like a uh, super solid. So it's all plug and play method, all right? All is a dependency. And then if uh, this overall session have uh, triggered you. Um, your, your passion or, or interest, if you can go into this uh, opentap.io, uh, you can also scan the QR code over there. Um, there is a documentation as well, a deep, uh, even a better documentation, um, a document uh, for a doc, uh, for user and also for developers and how you can create your own uh, packages out of it, all right? So even uh, deeper. And then uh, if you have any question, you know, across, um, so uh, the, um, before that, uh, the on the top on the top side is um, what we can see is actually the um, the open tab GitHub repo, uh, GitLab repo. We publish our source code there, all right. And then if you have any questions um, while developing, and if, if you just have any questions, right, please do feel free uh, go to our open tab community forum. Uh, we will all, we'll be all there, and then you can also find the. Um, the QR code and also um, I think Brennan have shared um, the um, the links to the both GitHub uh, and also the uh, Open Tap forum. I think that's the end of my. Session. And if any questions, um, I'm here to answer as well. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Darwin. Uh, great tutorial. Oh, thanks. So, um <clears throat> i think there's no questions in the share notes for now right. um quick question is the is the the code that we just saw is it available on a github repo or okay. you guys plan to put it somewhere so people can follow can up put it, yes definitely we can put it somewhere um but mm, how do we publish great. the uh the get the link for that repo hmm. is there yeah. any, any way we can publish it um Yes, you can. Oh. Let's see. Okay, uh, I think I'll I'll publish it in the uh, session post. Yeah, you can you could also put it on the uh if you just meet the slides later, you can also put it there. Or the yeah, I guess uh Okay, definitely. Yeah, that should be good. Um, yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. All right. Um, so we're on. Hey, the, I have a question if I can still oh, ask. Mario. Um, Mario has a question. Well, All right. Uh, Darwin, I, I, I just uh, wondering um, that that was a bit fast. I mean, like it was really compiled and step mm -hmm. by step. But I think um, uh, um, it is great that you're sharing this video. 
and uh, um, and then people can stop right and continue yes um, but i'm also uh, wondering um, if uh, like are you, were you based in, in singapore right yes based in singapore uh, so it would be cool maybe if we could uh, uh, work together with hackerspace uh, um, sg and uh, organize um, a meetup um, I, i don't know if that would be possible to do that uh, workshop for example with people hands on the situation is improving step by step of course we have to see how how yep. things uh, uh, progress but um, this would be uh, something that i could imagine uh, to follow up and uh, possibly also we could uh, organize um, at at one point um, in the next few weeks uh, something yes, uh, definitely uh, we will, we would literally love to engage with the the maker space yeah. and then um, and give a, a live talk it'll be better like uh, face to face with a small group it will be a uh, lovely also yeah. we can organize a, a session like that yeah cool and you're already talking with the right person because marco um, uh, is uh, aligning people there also uh -huh. i guess uh, it's a good contact right uh, yes definitely we we'll keep in touch marco yeah sure thanks Thank for you your you're also based in uh, singapore right yeah yeah i'm also based in singapore all right so, okay. yeah let's right, keep then. in touch yeah keep in touch yep. see ya thank you yeah take care thanks Bye.